In the book of Proverbs, he is the wisdom of God. Proverbs 8 1. He is the wisdom of God. In Proverbs 4 8, he is the path of the righteous that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. That perfect day was the day of resurrection. In Proverbs 16 15, he is the shorty of a sinner. The shorty of a sinner. In Psalms, I mean Proverbs chapter 18, verse 8, chapter 18, verse 10, he is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. In the book of Proverbs, he is a brother that stick it closer than a friend. He is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. He is one among thousands. In the songs of Solomon, he is a shepherd, the groom, speaking of us and him, the marriage that can never be divorced, the union that can never be separated, that is all that the book of Solomon is painting. The picture of Christ and the church. And that union that cannot be broken because of his resurrection. In the book of Isaiah, it brings us a lot of revelations on the sufferings of Christ. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes you are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. Every man has gone into his own way. It pleased God to bruise him on our behalf. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Isaiah took time to open it. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. And brother Paul will put it like this. They that receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness they shall reign in life through one jesus christ our lord the book of isaiah he's the king that reigns in righteousness he is the appointed one isaiah 12 35 isaiah 12 35 the king that reigns in righteousness he is the well of salvation with joy we draw water from the wells of salvation. Isaiah 12 verse 3. In Isaiah 59. He is our intercessor. The mediator. In Jeremiah. All the names of God. Reveals the character of Christ. Is in, in Jeremiah. He is called El Shaddai. He is called Nisi. He is Nisi. He is El Shaddai. In Jeremiah 23 verse 5. In Jeremiah 33, 15, he is the Lord, our righteousness, Jehovah Sid Kenu. In Ezekiel, he is the true shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, the true shepherd, the great shepherd. Hebrews 13, 20, the great shepherd, the true shepherd, John 10. Ezekiel 34, 23, he is the true shepherd. In Ezekiel 48, he is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord shall be seen there. The Lord shall be seen there. The revelation of God. Shama. Ayatoba. In the book of Daniel is a son of man. Daniel 7.16. Son of man. Daniel 9.24. Messiah. In Joel. In Hosea before Joel. He's a son out of Egypt. The son out of Egypt. You remember when he was born? He was asked to go out of Egypt. Hosea prophesied it. In the book of Hosea. In the book of Joel, he is the spirit. I part my spirit upon all flesh. In the book of Joel, is God dwelling in Zion. Joel 3.17. What I'm giving is the substance of scripture. In the book of Amos, he is the salvation promised. Amos 9, 11 to 12. In Obadiah, he is the deliverer of Zion. In Mount Zion, <laughs> there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. He is the deliverer in Zion. In Jonah, he, Jonah 2, 9. Salvation is of the Lord. Out of the belly of the whale. Jonah acted out the drama of death, burial, and resurrection. On the way to Tashish, they threw him into the sea, and the fish swallowed him three days. 
And Jonah said, in hell I cried, salvation is of the Lord. And the fish opened his mouth on the third day and vomited Jonah. Jesus died three days. On the third day he rose. And Jesus said, as it was in the days of Jonah, that is a sign that shall be given to this generation. Death, burial, and resurrection. The message of Jonah was clearly the message of God's salvation in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. It's his book. That book belongs to Jesus. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. It's the book of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. And then of course as I round up this and then give you a few things before the service is over. In Micah, he is the pre-existent nature of God. Micah 5.2 In Nahum, he is a stronghold in the day of trouble. Stronghold. Nahum 1.7 In Habakkuk, he is the faith of Christ. The just shall live by faith. In Haggai, he is the desire of all nations. Haggai 2.7 and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory. And the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. Jesus is that desire of all nations. In Zechariah, he is a shepherd that was smitten and the sheep scattered. In Zechariah, he is the shepherd that was smitten and the sheep scattered. Zechariah 13 verse 7. In Malachi, In Malachi, he testifies of Jesus. And John the Baptist was going to be a forerunner. In Malachi 4, 2, he is called the son of righteousness. So, the epistles are not magical books. They explain what was contained in Genesis to Malachi. With the benefit of the new we can now see Genesis to Malachi as types and shadows of Christ. You search the scripture. So an accurate study of the Bible is therefore to see the scriptures through Christ. To see the scriptures through Christ. Once you cannot see the scriptures through Christ, you are lost. Once you lose sight of the scriptures, You'll be in the bush.